Now, gents, this is going to be great. Um, Ross, obviously, we've done a lot of tasting videos. We have. Often kind of limited release, kind of old antique bottling, some really pretentious stuff we've tried. <laughs> Sometimes it's good to not go back to basics, but try whiskies that are classics, that are staples, that everybody knows, everybody loves. Yeah. Today is a great example. Uh, whiskey, whiskey is all about who you're drinking it with. It's all about where you are. And some of the videos we've done, the videos I get most excited about is when we're in a warehouse with, with a guy like Colin. Oh, that, yes, um, kind of well, it's, one, it's one of those things that if you all work in whiskey, it's a very inclusive industry. We all share the same passion. Absolutely. And so for us to kind of get to step behind the door with what you're doing here at Ardbeg, what a pleasure. And this is mm. a, a whiskey that we're both actually already familiar with. Mm. We've even got fans in the corner of the oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The so, birds love this so one as well. Tell yeah. us about Ardbeg Urgadal. Urgadal. So Urgadal is the name of our water source. So mm. Uh, on Isla, every distillery has their own water source. Um, we are fed by Loch Ugadal. So about four miles up the hill mm. is Ugadal. Now, it's a hill loch. It's only fed by rainwater. It's mm -hmm. not fed by a, a burn or a river. Ugadal is, means it's sort of like strange, mysterious place in Gaelic, okay. or dark, mysterious nice. place. Okay. Yeah. It's beautiful, the way the Gaelic, yeah. the Gaelic language names places. But... It's a hill loch, there's a burn from it, then feeds into Loch Irnin, or mm. what we call Arnon Beast, which yep. means shelter of the beast in Gaelic for the wow. hill that sits yeah. there, and then from there it flows down to the distillery. But Ugadal is the source, and this Ugadal is it's great when we're talking about classics and to come back to something like Ugadal. Mm. I mean, it was much loved by people who love Ardbeg, who love whiskey. It was mm. a well celebrated one world whiskey of the year when it was launched. Yeah. It's been you know with us for about 15 odd years in the core range. And it's a marriage of of casks of ex bourbon casks yeah. uh, with, with filled with Ardbeg and Oloroso sherry mm, casks nice. that we fill with Ardbeg, New Make Spirit. And it just combines to the most beautiful, it's rich powerful smoky sweet it's just such a classic yeah. dram because mm. it embodies the, the classic art big flavors and tastes but the, 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 these all are also sherry cast just mm. bring it into this mm. depth you yeah. will know you have tasted a yeah. nougadal for about two and, days and after <laughs> the finish goes on and on that's and what yeah. you want you want and this is a, it's a cash strength whiskey bottle at 54.2 yeah. percent absolutely natural color Unchill filtered. Everything's in the bottle. This is mm. what a distillery manager yeah. wants from his whiskey. Well, it's, it's the greatest. It's, it, you know, I've been uh, lucky enough to be distillery manager here. Only the 21st. There's not been many of us over mm. 200 mm -hmm. years. But uh, for three and a half years. And Ugadal is a dram that I knew well before coming here. Yeah. There's nice. something... You know you're on Isla when you drink it, and wherever you are in the world drinking that, you can be straight brought back here to Warehouse uh, yeah. 3. As soon as you drink that, you think, oh, I'm on Isla, you know. Yeah. My so, thing with Ugadal was if you walk into you know, a bar or a restaurant straight away, like, somebody's got an Ugadal like, <laughs> 10 yards away. And yeah, it's, it's, you it's forget, amazing, I, yeah. I was at the, um, the Institute of Brewing and Distilling dinner, mm. annual dinner, and uh, we always take a bottle, and last year I took Ugadal, and everyone's pouring about space which I'm a huge fan of, love my yeah. whiskey, you know, trying different things, you open the Ugadal, someone's like, oh, someone's opened an hard thing, because it's, wow, it's yeah, Somebody opened a window. Oh, it's oh, incredible. Yeah. It's so we can, well, yeah. let's pour it yeah, out, and we'll have a wee look. I can't wait for this. <laughs> so know, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Oloroso casks in particular, yeah. and yeah. obviously the hard big spirit is brilliant, so for me it's like, Combination of my for, for you, things. for you, Pete and Sherry is as a kind of it's marriage that you I really mean, it's, enjoy. It's maybe not an everyday whiskey. Mm -hmm. It's you know particularly at the strength as well. It's it's a dram that once you've had it, you know you've had an Ardbeg. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I mean, what we can do with it is let, we'll nose it and taste it neat, and I would definitely like add a wee bit of water, water, yeah, water sure. as well to see how it is. But great colour on it, and then yeah. again, we, we don't put any statement on the ball, but mm. there's a but I, different ages in it. We, we play about with it, but. Great colour on it. It's amazing, mm. Ugadal. Kind of nose is it big. It's it's rich. Mm. It's, it is. It's, it's, very rich. Yeah. it's licorice for sure. Yeah. It's almost like a barbecue sauce thing for me. Yeah. Yeah. It's that yeah. kind of sweet and smoke together. Sweet, it's lovely. Smoke, like that smoke meat thing. Like yeah. yeah, yeah. Honey glazed ham or something on a yeah, barbecue, yeah. but it's there's sweetness there. There's chocolatey <laughs> notes and it's a whiskey. Fire. It's you like get awesome. excited it's smelling a whiskey like yeah. this, and I think again there might be people that are new to whiskey, new to Isla whiskey. It is, it, is a, it is the extreme. This is an extreme flavour profile. But it's something you've got to try. You've got to give it a go. Because mm. this is uniquely Scottish. Yeah. It really is. And, uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. It certainly is. But it, it's amazing how the, 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 
like the citrusy and fruity notes that we get through the distillation, mm. balanced off with that very heavily, you know, heavily peated high phenol malt mm. we use, it goes right through. But with these sherry crafts, it does yeah. something different. I mean, it's such a. I feel like with so many whiskies out there, obviously, so many distilleries opening up, not just in Scotland but across the world. I think it's easy to get drawn into. Oh, I'm just going to keep on that search for you know the best yeah. whiskey ever, and you almost forget about whiskies that you tried when you first got into whiskey. Yeah. yeah, and it's so good to come back and revisit something like this. And for me, this is one of those jams that you know when you've got a bottle in your bar at home or on your shelf, as soon as it's finished, you think that needs replaced straight away. It's one of those sort of ever present. You definitely need yeah, a, yeah. a bottle of some a new Godal on on the shelf. It is. It's the the mouthfeel there, mm. the great chew to it that is mm. rich. And I, o- I almost wanted to challenge it. what you said earlier. Now, I've tried that 30 seconds ago and I can s- my mouth is still full. Yeah. It's still full of flavour. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a massive drag. It is a huge it's drag. A, it's, it's There's a nothing subtle drag. about it, mm. but it's... There's great sweet... Like these all are also cast. The, the richness that they've brought, but real, like, sweet and dark, dark yeah. chocolate. Mm. But, and, and it's just, I don't know, it just brings up... And it's, it's like a bonfire smoke. It's a yeah. different smoke yeah. that you're getting now. Do you know, it's like a wet sort of bonfire. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, no, no, I get the, it. This incredible it's, sweetness. It, there's a real kind of sweet, dark chocolate, as you say, in yeah. the front of the palate, and it goes on to a kind of... Um, more savoury, drying, earthy. Yeah. Just it's it is it's a huge dram. A my huge mouth is full of flavour, and I've not touched my glass in a minute. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's, which it's, I can't say happens with many that, whiskeys. For me, it's that balance of complexity but balance yeah. at the same time. You get some big drams, yeah. which are huge, and they knock your socks off, but they're just out of control. And we, they're completely wild. We'll talk about the value of the bottle as well. Yeah, I was going to say you get some whiskeys these days. You know, they're limited, they're special casks, they're high strength, whatever, and it's, you know, hundreds of pounds. You're no, it's, it's great, so that you're, it's great you're reminding people it's a bargain. It is a bargain. It, 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 it is, so it is. Yeah. I mean, yeah. look at the strength on yeah. it as well. Yeah. There's a lot you're, of whiskey in there. Well, all jokes, you're getting a bottle and a half of whiskey yeah. out of that. We're about to add water to it now. But when you get presented a whiskey at this strength, with the profile that it is, it, yeah, it's not something you have a half pint of, but it's something you're revisiting every now and then. Mm. You're enjoying it, enjoying it with friends, and it's something that will last you a good amount of time. Unless you're... <laughs> it's one of those things I see you in the glass. And <laughs> I don't think my glass is going to last much longer. Mm. No, but um, try it with a few drops as well, because mm. it is, you know... It's designed to be altered with, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You're giving, yeah. you know, you, the consumer their control. This is a, mm. it's a, a, an Ardbeg product that you're obviously very proud of. Um, and as I said, you knew it before you were with Ardbeg. Yeah. But it's, one, it's such a big dram that you might prefer it with 10 drops of water. You might prefer mm. it neat. It's, it, mm. it's such an individual thing. Yeah, absolutely. Thing. And it's like when we're, you know, when we're playing about with whiskey or nosing whiskey and things. I mean, for your nose, we'll always say to, you know, work to its maximum efficiency. Mm-hmm. You should be bringing the strength down to 20% ABV. Mm. Now, no one wants yeah. to drink a whiskey at 20% yeah. ABV because you've just killed the mouthfeel and the taste. But, you know... It, it, to try a whiskey new, I always like to bring it down with a bit mm, of water and yeah. try it because you, it opens up different flavors. Yeah, as well. I think it's, I mean, there's few drams that are brilliant at, you know, 60 odd percent. I feel like 54 is, for me, it's, it's perfect. Still a manageable it's give you that yeah. flexibility yeah. as well. You know, if it's, you know, we've, we've talked about some drams before, which I won't mention, which have been already watered down to 40 or 43. Well, and I've, it's I've, always that yeah. thing of, if only they'd kept it at 46 or 48, it'd be well, such a different Laurie, I've said it to you before, if you give me a whiskey at 40%, a lot of the time I feel like you've stolen whiskey from me. Mm. And that says maybe a little bit more about how tight I am with my pennies than yeah, it does about maybe. anything else. <laughs> but it's one of those things that you appreciate the generosity and also the viscosity that you take from a higher ABV mm. and the fact that you can play around with it and make it an individual drink for yourself, I think, has, can't be taken, you know, you can't take you know, take that for granted. No. Um, especially not. for a bottle that you can buy as a house tram. It's yeah. not going to cost you an arm or leg. Yeah. yeah Obviously, Colin, this has been an expression that's been on the market for a decent amount of time. Is there yeah. is it a struggle to keep it consistent over years? Is there any sort of batch variation? Is there well, an older versions are perhaps more oloroso heavy, or has it been yeah, consistent? Well, the consistency it? is key. Mm. I mean, originally Ugadal came out. It was a, a, a committee release. Yeah. And it was, yeah. Some some really old sherry casts in it, yeah. but for a, a long, long while now the recipe is yeah. uh, has been ironed out, and we've, yeah. we've got it down yeah, to key. Yeah. I mean, we fill 
you know, well, in this warehouse where we stand just now, warehouse three, there's a lot of sherry butts in here. Mm. Yeah, a, a lot of sherry butts, and these are all other also casks beside us that will be for Ugadal. So we're yeah. laying down stock. Sure. We've, we've got to keep on top of it. But, you know, we're not a huge brand. We didn't make huge mm. volumes. We, yeah. we expanded that we've doubled our capacity, but it's still a drop in the ocean, really, yeah. compared to a lot of big distilleries. Yeah. So, but it's, it is about managing. Wood management is a huge part of what we do, and we spend mm. a fortune on casks mm. and yeah. such a key component. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you can make the greatest spirit in the world unless you're going to put it in good wood. You're, you're yeah. not going to yeah. be able to, you know, um, get the most out of it. So, well, with the addition yeah. of water, gentlemen, for me, it actually becomes. I know it's it, it's is it a sh it's a batting with sherry and bourbon. Yes, I. But for me, it almost becomes what I associate with a sherry bomb. Mm. It gets sweeter. It's more raisiny. It's it, it really is raisins. Mm. Bucket loads of raisins. Bucket loads of raisins. Those that we was what are they called yeah. sun kissed. The we red. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> raisins and dates. That real yeah. bit from the sherry. Yeah. Which, which initially I think the the, pe the lovely pepperiness from sort of the higher ABV kind of gives you a spice it maybe takes away from that sweetness but with the addition of water it, it's, mm. it's like a bag full of raisins yeah there is there is good spicy but i totally agree there's a <laughs> bucket loads yeah. coming from that all around. an absolute cast, pleasure right? to share it with you gentlemen yeah, and what, what a setting as well and what a dram so yeah anybody who knows ugadel that's maybe forgotten about it yeah try it again and, and let, let us know let us stunning. know in the comments what yeah. you think about our big what have you got a favorite our big i think when you're trying a classic release like this you know let's have a conversation about whiskey so yeah. let us know what you're thinking and yeah. what a pleasure to share it with you cheers 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 I realise that I like Isla Whiskey. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more bevy content. We want to hear what you think, your best whiskey experiences, the whiskies you want us to try. It's a really exciting journey we're on, so make sure to join us. Download the Bevy app on Google Play and App Store to keep track of your whiskey journey, connect with your whiskey friends, keep track of your favourites, anything you could ever want to do with whiskey, all in one place. It's the definitive whiskey companion.